7 with partly sunny skies. Out of the weekend, it looks like Saturday might be your better day with a high of 77. Hello, we're here in beautiful downtown Williamsville, and we're here at Smooth Solutions Medical Aesthetics. And Dr. Jack Bertolino is going to show us uh, a little thing called photodynamic therapy, and it all has to do with the skin. You are going to be amazed at what a special kind of light and this little stick can do for you. Let's go in and talk to Dr. Jack. Hello, hello, Dr. Jack, paging Dr. Jack. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Very nice he to see you. He crazy accent. That's why I love him. Hi, Dr. Jack. How are you? Very good. Thank you for coming again. Appreciate well, it. We always love it here. Um, you are the skin man. You're the doctor. I'm trying. I'm trying. And things are looking up uh, for me, which I'm very happy to say. Now, talk to me about photodynamic therapy. This is something that's right. been around for a while, but a lot of new developments lately, right? Right. Photodynamics has uh, been a an actual entity since the 1800s. It uh, really came into being and became uh, part of the aesthetic arsenal uh, for skin rejuvenation since about 1990. Uh, since that time, there's been really great developments in light therapy to help with cystic acne, to help with actinic and seborrheic keratoses of the skin. Now it's in vogue for um, basal cell cancers and it's done a lot at uh, Roswell Park. Um, we also tend to use it now for photo rejuvenation of the skin. Um, so this is a non-invasive, right? Oh, yes, it's definitely a non-invasive um, uh, uh, procedure that um, takes a little bit of time and uh, the patient has to be on top of, uh, on top of the, protecting themselves for the next 48 hours after the therapy is done. Uh, it, it is a, um, a modality that can be used once a month for really bad cystic acne patients or uh, patients who are just coming in for uh, photo rejuvenation of the skin. Uh, there is not much effort on my part or on the part of the patient. It's just um, something that hopefully will help their quality of living. Uh, the product, as you can see here... Yeah, that's that magic stick I was talking about earlier. Um, this is a Levulon Kerry stick, and it's mixed according to the proper directions, and then it is applied to the patient. Uh, this particular acid has to stay on the patient's face for about 30 to 45 minutes. This seeps into the sebaceous glands and into the dermis, where it is then activated with either red or blue light, which we will show you in a minute. It works wonderfully for acne patients because it, it causes a reaction with blue light that actually kills surface bacteria without the use of antibiotics. It also seeps into sebaceous glands and destroys those um, oil producers. It is also excellent for seborrheic and actinic keratosis and is FDA approved for those particular um, uh, skin conditions. Now, is this good for all skin types? Uh, what about people of color? Is this something that, that everyone can use? Well, we are trying to get more people of color involved in our practice here. Uh, you can use Levulon. You have to be a little bit more careful with uh, darker pigments in, in people. This works wonderfully for uh, sun-damaged individuals uh, because it seeps down into where the melanin is. Um, we are trying to develop more of a practice here for people of color, and I've said that over the last uh, couple of months. Uh, as far as doing all the procedures we have here, some of them would not be appropriate for darker skinned individuals. So you, you totally know this and you sit down with people and have a consultation about what's appropriate and what's not appropriate? Definitely. Uh, we go through the Fitzpatrick scale and we decide um, what particular uh, procedure would be appropriate for what particular skin type. Uh, we have a young man here. Um, I don't know if you can see him, Mr. James Kager. He is a student with me and has been with me for the last eight weeks. He has graciously uh, offered to um, do a simulation of what this procedure is, is about. So what I'm going to show you here is, this is the carry stick. It would be mixed by breaking two ampules, mixed over a three-minute period, and then with the applicator, it would be placed upon the areas of the face that have damage. Such as, such as cystic lesions, 
possibly some ac old acne scarring. Pos scarring too, this helps. Oh, yes, then. yes. It causes a basically a chemical burn in the scar, which then the skin itself propagates collagen. So the skin and the immune system actually work to help co collagen reformation. Well, we know collagen is very important. Collagen we know is that. very important for the plumpiness and um, it also gives the, the structural component, a uh, lasting of the skin, uh, that much more um, life. So what, what we're doing here is we would be applying the Kerry stick just in a linear fashion uh, around the face, hitting the areas of um, damage a, a little bit more uh, liberally. The patient would then stay for approximately 30 to 45 minutes with the application and then wash it off. By that time, it is seeped into the sebaceous glands and into the, uh, let's say, acne cysts. At that point in time, the patient would be, be put under red or blue light, depending on what modality we are, we're looking to uh, enhance, and would stay under the lights for probably about 15 minutes. Now, you can use these lights without this, but photodynamics must have Kerry stick applied in order to go through this particular procedure. Um, you will then see some tingling in the face. The patient is then blocked down dramatically with sunblock and then sent out of here um, with a hat on and is told to try to stay out of the sun for at least the next 48 hours. What you're going to see there is a little bit of peeling, a little bit of tingling in the face, maybe a little bit of redness, but over the course of the next week, you'll see a very nice product. Perfect. And you, as you can tell, Dr. Jack is indeed a doctor. And that's one of the great things about oh, here, you. That, that you are a medical doctor, Dr. Jack. Hey, listen, uh, before we go, uh, you've got a sale on Radius, right? Which is a wonderful new, would you call it a filler? Yes, there's a sale we're promoting um, this next month for uh, Radius, which is a uh, new uh, FDA approved uh, filler and uh, our prices are usually pretty good to start with but we're um, advertising it at about 25% off which I think is a very good deal. Um, that with all the other fillers uh, we use um, is just part of the armamentarium here to try to get a better look for all you folks out there. Uh, please come down and see us if you can. We're down in Williamsville at about uh, the 5800 block, 5839 uh, Main Street. Easy to spot. It was easy for me to find. It'll be easy for you to find too. Dr. Jack, thanks so much. Thank you, Lorraine, darling. Thank I appreciate you. it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Portions of the AM Buffalo program are sponsored. The views expressed are not necessarily the opinion of WKBW-TV or the host. Seven News anchor Joanna Bazzari. We have live team coverage for you tonight. Named Best Anchor Person by Buffalo's Free Magazine at their annual award ceremony. Congratulations, Joanna. Seven News, live, local, late breaking. Tonight, yes, with a million dollars on the line, expect inventions that are spectacular. Dog heads. It's a souvenir. Are you kidding me? All new American Inventor. Tonight, 9, 8 central, only on ABC. Welcome to the Culligan dealerships at Auto Place. The Culligan family has been selling and servicing cars in West New York for over 74 years. And thousands of customers have made us their choice for Lincoln, Mercury, Porsche, and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs.